Hey everybody, um, it's Mother's Day afternoon, evening I guess you could say, and uh, my company has finally left, and oh, I can play again. Uh, um, I worked all morning on this one quarter, and I still haven't gotten it right. I'll work on it again, but not right now. I had to get some distance from it, because it's pissed me off. I've tried... I tried three times to get this pour to work, and um, it's a peacock pour, and I still haven't gotten it. I mixed up three whole sets of stuff, and uh, I never, it, I didn't like it. <clears throat> Colors were beautiful, but the composition of it sucked, and I could never get it right. And I just ended up wiping it all off, so I'm putting that canvas down. <clears throat> under the desk and um the funny thing is it's one of those cursed canvas things because it's one of them that was under the desk in the first place because um it was one that i had decided i didn't like anymore and um anyway i just can't seem to get it to do right and i got so mad that um, I decided I needed to have some distance from it and not try it again right away, which is not the same thing as giving up, but uh, giving yourself a little uh, space. I need to try to figure out what was going wrong is what I need to do, and I, and I don't know right now, so I thought maybe I need to consider that, contemplate the whole situation a little bit before I try to tackle it again because I got so frustrated. I didn't ever have one bite me like that. It just would not cooperate. So in the meantime, I thought I'd do something kind of fun. Um, and I don't know. I think I'll just do a, a, a swipe. A hair dryer swipe. just want to do something else. You know, that's what you should do. I mean, you know, when one gives you a booger like that, sometimes, now I am bullheaded and stubborn and I will dig my heels in and say, I am not giving up. And I'm not giving up. I don't ever do that. But it's not smart to just keep hammering your head against it. You know, for some reason, sometimes shit just doesn't want to work out. And sometimes it's better to walk away from it for a little while and then go back to it later, so. Um, that's what I'm doing. And in the meantime, I have to go to Walmart, which I hate. I'm gonna get some polycrylic because I'm out of my bright tone. But in the meantime, I mix up some colors and I thought we'd play. And this is one of my um, color art pigments, but I couldn't tell you the name of it. Uh, I, don't want, I don't know. I have such a hard time seeing anymore. And I never seem to have any glasses around when I need them. I need reading glasses sometimes. And I think it's denial <laughs> that I never have them on me, you know, when I need them. And I should probably work on that. But <sighs> I mean, it's just one of those things when I turn 40, I mean, it's like people say, start stuff starts going downhill. And the first thing to go is your eyesight. And that is the truth. At least as far as my experience. Uh, um, this is some uh, Indian yellow, what it's called. It's pretty. Uh, yeah, I had the video running. I went over the colors three different times. You know, trying to record it and, and everything. And then, you know, realizing that it was not going to work. And I was going to have to start over again. It was very irritating. <sighs> These are colors that I mixed up. They're sort of custom made colors. Mo several of them. Uh... The one I just used. This is uh, Thalo Blue, but uh, not Thalo Blue, but uh, Prussian Blue. Um, but those other ones, 
uh, or some mixes of blue and purple and blue and green and just stuff out there together. It's so much fun to have family over and visit and eat and all that stuff, but at the same time, it is exhausting. I don't know why, you know, we got takeout today, so it's not like I had to cook or even do a bunch of cleaning up, but I'm worn out. I didn't really do much of nothing. I haven't been sleeping, and that's the main reason, but, um, yeah, I hadn't. Look at this. This is my, this came in the mail today. That is, um, uh, Luminaire, uh, Magenta. It doesn't look like Magenta to me. It looks like Fuchsia or Hot Pink, but they call it magenta so anyway I thought it might help me you know relieve some stress do another kind of pour and relax a little bit or just throw some paint around so that's what I'm thinking and uh, uh gross. I'm just want to try this black cell activator here which may be too runny I don't know but we're gonna try it anyway um I just needed to do something that I think I can get right. Oh. Settle for a second, let it move around, move back, move forward, move in, move out, move wherever it needs to move. Even if you can't see them moving back, I like to wait a minute because they're changing. Even if I can't really see it, there's little cells forming. And in my case, since somebody shook up this base tent before I got it, there's bubbles popping. <laughs> Actually, I think the bubble problem has gotten a little better. I think that they've calmed down some. I still see them. But the ones that really bother me are the ones that you can't really see. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I about had it. Let's try this. Because I can see little, dim, you know, impressions, bubble bumps. So, I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just take care of them. Look at all those. I know you're not supposed to talk cheese. I really don't give a shit. I'm going to see what this does. Because those little bubbles, they pop anyway. And if I can pop them before I uh, move it, tilt it, then maybe I can uh, keep them from being present in the final analysis. And, you know, after I tilt in other words, I'd rather on pop now and then tilt 
then have them pop after I've tilted. Because if I'm tilting, I can kind of smooth them away, blend them in, whatever, maybe. We'll see. We'll see if this helps. But I, I, I want to try to find, I wanted to try to find something to do about them because they're really bad. Um, and they, I've had to, um, patch my other paintings, like get, um, paint at, after I'm done and dab it, you know, on the canvas in little holes and stuff that they make. And I hated it. It's really bad. So I thought, let's try this. Just torch it and see if, see if that happens. It can't be any worse. You know, the, whatever happens for torching, it can't be any worse than all those little pinpricks everywhere. <sighs> I hope y'all had a good Mother's Day. I did. We had a really nice lunch. Uh, but I was starving, and I ate a lot, and I was full and sleepy. And I don't want to take a nap, because then I won't sleep good tonight. My sleep problems are really bad, so I thought, you know, just like yesterday, I, I need to just go on and stay up. And, um, so if I'm going to be up, I might as well be working. That's really pretty. I think that helped. I don't see any of the little pinpricks. I'm just trying to get this corner. I know y'all can't see good right now, but I'll be done in just a second. It's almost finished. Okay. I think that's beautiful. And there's just a couple of little pinbricks I see. But like right over here, but not not very many. Let's see, I'm trying to fill it in. This is what I have to do, want to fill them in. Yeah, I like that. I think I'm going to leave it just like that. I'm not even going to fool with it anymore. It's unusual. It's free. It's good. I'll leave it that way. I'm going to let y'all see up close. These were paint and pigment in several colors and just pigment in a couple and just paint in a couple. Because I like mixing the paint and the pigment. Sometimes I like just the pigment, but in a, any individual piece, I'm not ever going to have just pigment. I'm always going to have some paint thrown in there somewhere because I just haven't been able to... Uh, those ones that are just pigment just don't dry right for some reason with me. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong, but I can't get them to dry right. So, anyway, thank y'all for being with me. Happy Mother's Day. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, and uh, join me next time. Thanks.